by the end of this video, you will know how to sew an invisible zipper on a skirt quick and easy in Close 3D. We are going to sew the invisible zipper onto a skirt. To do so, go to the menu and select material. Then come down here to zipper and to the right side of that zipper, you click on this right here, the zipper, okay? After you select the zipper here, these zigzag lines right there on the skirt, this means that we are ready to apply the zipper onto a skirt. To do so, you see this point right here, the blue dot appear. You click on it, one, to start your zipper point. Then, Come down here, double click on it to stop the zipper endpoint, and we will repeat the same in the opposite side, right here, one click to start. Now come down here, and you see how this uh, blue dot kind of stop it, because this side of the skirt, how much the length that we select earlier and close software know that we want it to equal side from both sides so see that point right there double click to place a zipper and then wait for a little bit for the software to generate the sewing line okay so after we click on the zipper the zipper itself also generate the sewing line for us we don't have to sew it it's just done okay after we finish sew the zipper on a back skirt we're gonna come to the 2d window and we're gonna finish the sewing line from the zipper endpoint to the bottom of the skirt to do so we are going to zoom in just a little bit use the mouse wheel to scroll forward to zoom in and if you want to zoom out just scroll that mouse wheel back with the zoom out okay to sew this area we are going to use free sewing tool to select the free sewing tool you come over here and then hover over the tool and click on it to select the tool then you come down here it's when you look at in the 2d window it's hard to find where a zipper endpoint is but while you hover over the the line that we're gonna sew and look at in the 3d window you see this point right there it snapped right into the zipper endpoint so we're gonna click one to start a sewing and we're gonna just hover that mouse pointer and then come down here click once so again then come back here and we're gonna click and then Hover the mouse over oh, you see this sewing line start to appear. We come down here, click again, and we're gonna wait for a little bit for the software to generate the sewing line. So why I'm saying that the software itself is gonna take a little bit of time to generate it. If we not wait for it and we start to click on everywhere, it's gonna mess it up. Okay? And of course we can just control Z to undo anything you want. The same as like Illustrator or Photoshop. So now you see, look into the left hand side here in the 3D windows. We see this sewing line is completed for us and we are going to simulate. To simulate the skirt, we are going up here to this gray arrow, but when we hover the mouse over, it's turned blue. And we're gonna click that or you hit the space bar on your keyboard to simulate okay so wow after we simulate the zipper looks terrible of course we're gonna fix it so there are three things wrong with a zippers so the first thing is obvious that the zipper pull is a standard zipper rather than invisible zipper two the zipper itself is too big Lastly, we want to change the color of a zipper to match the skirt color, which is kind of dark red. Okay, 
To do so, we are going to select the zipper pull. To select the zipper pull, come back up here. You see this uh, arrow still blue? That means the simulation option is still active. So we're going to select that to stop. And now we want this tool right here. It's select slash move tool. So we're going to click on that tool. So if you guys somehow don't see that select or slash move tool, you just click on this arrow here. You see right here? When you click on the arrow, the hand tool appear. And we don't want a hand tool appear because we want to select and move tool. So we just go back and click on that arrow again. And then this tool appear. To select the tool, click on it. And while this select slash move tool active, you come over here and click on that zipper pull. Just like that. And you see the yellow area, that means a zipper pull is selected. After it is selected, you come down here to the property editor. Every time we select any object, it will appear all the data, all the information about the object in this uh, property editor panels. Okay, now look down here. Below here, we see the slider. Uh, I think the slider is good. We don't need to change the slider, but if you want to do, just click on this arrow and you will see a bunch of slider. But in this case, we don't have to change the slider. We only need to change this polar. Again, go to that gray arrow, click on it. And look at that, guys. We have many options for our invisible zipper polar. So I'm going to pick the one like the most noticeable. This one, I think I like it best. And to select that pole, simply click on it. So now look at a zipper pole. Isn't that cute? Since we are already here, I'm going to scroll down here to change the color of the zipper pole as well because we want it to match our skirt. It saves us one step if we do it right now. So why not do it? So come down here and then click on this color swatch. As you can see, after we click on the color swatch, it brings us these color swatches panels and we can select whichever color we want. You can come over here and select the color down here or you can just you know drag your mouse around get however the color you want so I think I kind of like this uh, zipper pull head color and be sure to click OK okay and not red enough let's go back to change a little bit redder what about this red and that's for now I think that's good because when after we Let's just hit the simulation button or space bar to simulate. Okay, so that's a zipper pull. Next, we're going to change the size of a zipper. As you know, the invisible zipper means that we can't see the zipper. Okay, so this zipper is too big. So we're going to change the zipper to small small side like we barely can see it and I came up with the number 0.1 okay to change the zipper again just like we did with the zipper pull we're gonna go to select slash move tool and then under that hand there we're gonna click you see this the uh, blue arrow still active we're gonna click on it again to stop and now we're gonna come here and click on select slash move tool and come down here, we're going to go to the zipper uh, and we're going to select on the zipper. See, when you click on the zipper now, the zipper is selected. Why do I know that? Because it's a highlighted up here on the zipper cell. Now we're going to come to the property editor and we're going to change this, the zipper width. Right now it's 0.5 and we want to change it to 0.5 one hit enter so after we change the width to 0.1 one 
Now look at a zipper. It gets smaller and we can see these stitches through. But don't worry, after we hit the simulation key, we will see the effects on the zipper itself, okay? So let's do that. Click on the spacebar to simulate and now a zipper looks just perfect except one more thing. We want to change the color to match the skin. To do so, while the zipper is still selected, come back to the property editor and then we're going to go to color swatch. See right here and the color to the side right there, you just click on that color swatch one and then it brings us this color swatch panel and we're going to select the color that match your skirt or as close as possible and then click OK. And we're going to hit the space bar to simulate again. Okay, so now we're going to click off so we can see uh, the zipper better. Now look at that guys. We have this perfect invisible zipper on the skirt. Okay, one more thing guys. I want to show you guys how to zip and unzip this zipper. To unzip this zipper, we're going to go to select slash smooth tool, click on it to activate the tool. Then come down here and we're going to click on the zipper pull and we're going to just drag it down. Okay, and then release it. After that, we're going to hit the simulation tool over here or hit the space bar on your keyboard to simulate and now a skirt unzip. After a skirt unzip, we want to zip the skirt back. It's simply to go to that simulation button, click on it to get a move tool. Click on the move tool to activate it and then click on the zipper and then kind of drag your mouse over. You see the zipper highlight? And then we're going to just move a mouse over and then as soon as it hit the end, we're going to hit the space bar for simulate. And now our zipper is zipped and it's ready to go.